We love what you've done in Miami, but if you're serious about taking your boutique hotel and turning it into a worldwide brand, we need to close this deal. Every hotel must be worthy of the Gérard Dumais name. You're going to be very happy with some of the changes we've made to the language in Section 3. Words again. Just words. I think in colors and music and textures. That is the language that speaks to me. And if our legal department could draft a contract in that language, nobody would be happier than me. Nothing is planned without my approval. I can veto sites. I can veto architect. I can veto the kind of whiskey we serve in the bar. I hope you are prepared for this. Collaborating with a perfectionist will not be easy. Trust me, you're talking to one. Then how can you work in a building where the windows do not open? That's the design of the building. The windows in my hotels, they open. And that's non-negotiable. A bientôt. A bientôt. What's up with Pepe Le Pew? Please, I've been trapped in my office with him for hours. Really? You're trying to make me jealous? No, and you shouldn't be. Even Paris doesn't sound good to me right now. Come outside with me. I uh, have a surprise. I am taking you to a romantic dinner at Blue Hill at Stone Barnes. Oh, Davis, that's sweet, but I I'm meeting the girls for drinks, and it's so far out of town. Exactly. Care to drive? Davis, what did you do? I bought my beautiful wife a beautiful car. And Aston Martin? You just don't go out and buy one of these. Really, I did it this morning. It felt great. I was thinking how you said you loved the Bartel when we went to visit them at Palm Beach. I was just making conversation. They're so tedious. And we never even get out of the city. We need to start taking some romantic getaways. You do realize you're out of your mind. Completely. But we are moving forward. Let's do it in style. Just don't go getting any funny ideas about the back seat. <laughs> You know what else I was thinking about? You know how they do those at-home spreads in portmanteau? Yes, of course. It's one of Mia's magazines. They do that New York power couple thing every year. It'd be fun to be in it. I feel like an exhibitionist. People thumbing through, looking at our house, our things. Mm -hmm. All right. Just an idea. Think about it. And I bet Mia would love it. Davis, you already got a ticket? But what were you doing in Southampton? Uh, I had to see this investor, Charlie Nadler, big shot pain in the ass, wouldn't drive into the city, but the guy's connected, I so I... thought you just picked up the car this morning. No, I got a detail this morning. It came from the factory dirty. No, it got dirty driving back from the Hamptons, and I wanted it to be perfect when I gave it to you, okay? Honey, that's a traffic ticket. That's not something you can get uptight about. I'm not uptight. I, I just... I to see an investor. If you want, I can get him on the phone. I'm sure that he'd be Don't happy be to have... Don't be an ass, Davis. I'm not looking for an alibi. Good. Because you don't need to... Thank you for the car. I love it almost as much as you do. Mia, he was probably just distracted. By what? Oh, some little thing, like if I'm off by a thousandth of a millimeter on Mrs. Smith's temporal lobe, she'll be walking backwards and hiccuping for the rest of her life. <laughs> Whatever with his brain surgeon problems. Mia, what would you think if I wanted to be in the portmanteau power couple issue? Isn't the timing a little off? I mean, you and Davis being a power couple? Davis and I are committed to making our marriage work, just like that. Well, obviously, it takes time, but why not move forward and do something bold and positive? I sure as hell don't want to end up like one of those angry, drunken wasps in an Edward Albee play. Did you see the one where the husband cheated on the wife with a goat? I would rather it had been a goat than Scylla Gray. At least it would have saved me the STD screenings. Caitlin, are you going to Luke's party? Because he seems to think you're the only adult capable of firing a laser pistol. I want to so bad, but I'm swamped with this serenity lunch. Oh. And I, um, have a thing on Saturday. What do you think? I get nervous when she says thing. The last thing ended with a slur at 3 a.m. Come and pick me up. I don't know where I am. Panic call. It was an Italian restaurant in Olita, and I forgot what it was called. It was called Burritoville, and it was in the meatpacking district, but close. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a lesbian bridal shower. Wow. With Alicia? No, Juliet, with Joey Briggs from the sanitation <laughs> department. Of course, with Alicia. I just didn't know that you would take a date to a bridal shower. Well, it's sort of a date slash meet my friends combo. Meet my friends? That sounds serious. Well, it's definitely significant. I actually like waking up with her. Being gay agrees with you. I know, it's been almost a month. Here, here. Yes. 
twice as long as the last five guys and 29 days longer than Tybo, cognitive therapy, and car busters. And why? Because women are sensitive to each other's needs. Women communicate. If you feel weird or uncomfortable about something, you talk about it. God, what would that be like? Yeah, really. Be like, hey, what's up with that handshake? Because you sewed oh everything. Oh my God, yeah, it's oh. Gabby with a brain interested. surgeon. And then you shook my hand and bolted. Was it the lighting? Did I smell like feet? Did I have unsightly panty lines? Or did I have uh, a, a yeah. giant yeah. gaping herpy on my lips? Yeah, you yeah. yeah. Ow! Yeah. Wow, it's great to see you. Yeah, it's great. You look terrific. Oh, congrats on that Bartoli job. Oh, that was... Hey, Jack. Sorry, I was running a little late. Liz, hi. This is Mia. Mia, this is Liz. I've heard so much about you. And I've seen you on cable, reading the news. Hey, are you going to Caleb Stackpole's party on Saturday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. W why, are you going to be there? Yeah, Caleb's still a buddy. I used to send him out on assignments all the time. <laughs> Oh, looks like our table's ready. It was so nice meeting you. Will we see you at Caleb's? Yes, I can't wait. I'll see you there. Okay, see ya. There's no way in hell I'm going to that party. Oh, you're going. Time to call the brain surgeon. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you're not going to that thing alone. What? Not if he's going with that thing. You are so much prettier than her. I am not calling the handshaking brain surgeon. Mia, I'm sure he really liked you. How could he not? So humiliating, and I am not good with rejection. Listen, do you want to go to that party alone with that talking head of a slut throwing you shade? I don't think so. Mom, I don't have to be in those stupid pictures, do I? Honey, it's up to you. I know your dad wanted you to, but... He offered to buy me a horse. How desperate is that? OK, so Leanna's mom got us tickets to Justin Timberlake, and she's going to take us to Boston. Well, even Dad can't compete with Justin Timberlake. I say go for it. Love you. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. Davis! Did you tell Emily you'd buy her a horse? Sorry, I didn't know you were on the phone. OK, great. I'll talk to you then. Sorry, Nadler called me just before I got in. How, how long has the water been running? Let's see. I uh, turned it on at 7.43, just before the call came in at 7.44. And it's now 7.46. So long enough to get nice and steamy. Want to join me? I have to get to work, but maybe I'll take a rain check. OK. But uh, if you change your mind. Hampton's prefix, which is where he got the ticket, which according to him is where this investor lives. So why should I doubt him? Rhetorical question, right? We can't rebuild our marriage if I'm paranoid all the time. Why don't you just call the number? Nobody answers. I keep getting some automated voicemail. <laughs> he is so obnoxious. Who? Gerard Demay. He sends these ranting, expletive-filled emails to my entire company. If he weren't so talented, I would just smack him. Anyway, Jules, it's not really paranoia. Not when there's a history that gives you a reason to be suspicious. I can't wait for the magazine shoot. What are the captions going to say? Dashing Davis Draper and his powerful but suspicious wife, Juliet. I can cancel it like that. Oh, my god. I just emailed everyone, ignore Gerard. He's a pompous little bastard. Good. I hit reply all. His name's on the distribution list. You're kidding. I can't stop it. I am never multitasking again. How many times have we said that? OK, major damage control to do. Excuse me. Oh, hang on a second. Jules, it's fine. Go fix. No. You're not getting out of it that easily. Did you call the brain surgeon? I can't bring myself. Pick up the phone. OK, maybe. fine. Just go. So this would replace the Brunello. Davis, hi. Honey, you're going to hate me, but I can't make dinner tonight. Nadler is threatening to pull his funds. Nadler again? Yeah, I'm probably going to be late and just get some deli or starve. I'm sorry, honey. I was really looking forward to it. Me too. I'll make it up to you. Don't wait up, OK? I love you.
Southampton. I think you said Lake Placid. Oh, screw this. I think you said... Zoe, thank God, a human being. Were you able to find out anything about the number I gave you? Hey, I just got off the phone with the CFO of Techcom Global. It looks like Davis was telling the truth. The mystery number is billed to a Charles Nadler, Southampton, New York. Okay, now I'm actually feeling guilty for feeling sure, so I'm relieved sorry, that Davis is actually me. telling the truth. I don't care. I need to see her now. But she's busy, sir. Uh, oh, God. Gotta come never back. never be too busy for me. Gerard, I've been trying to reach Do you Bobby. really want to be in business with such a pompous little bastard? Gerard, I am so First, sorry. First, I am anything but little. That was an unfortunate outburst in a heated moment. It was just words. But it was unprofessional. So, if you feel the need to withdraw from this deal because I hurt your feelings, I understand. What? You don't think I've been called a bastard by a beautiful woman before? But what I don't want is you calling me that behind my back. I would rather you say it to my face. Gerard, if I think you're being a bastard again, I'll tell you. You have my word. Excellent. See, this selling my company to you, it is like a marriage between us. In a way, yes. There has to be trust and communication. Otherwise, problems fester, resentments pile up. It does not work. I agree completely. From now on, we have a problem. We communicate directly. We start fresh tomorrow with a clean slate. You're absolutely right. Thank you, Gerard. To a clean slate. Philippe? Juliet Draper. I know this is last minute, but can you wrap me up two of the most decadent things you have on the menu? Lovely to see you. This is not what it looks like. Really? Well, then what is it, Davis? I'd better go. No, please, stay. I brought braised short ribs and roasted beets. Sounds a little too rich for my taste. Oh, Silla, what could possibly be too rich for your taste? Juliet. Juliet, please. Do you have any idea how foolish I feel right now? It's business. Oh, business. I went to Silla for money. What? There are things going on that you don't know about. The problems with my funding. Oh, stop it, Davis. Stop trying to blame your lack of character and your hedge fund problems. Take some responsibility for that once. That is what I am trying to do. The fund is tanking. I'm in hot water. What would you suggest I do short of dipping back into our... Dipping back into our what? Look, the fund just needed a quick shot in the arm. How much of our money, Davis? I am showing my investors that I have confidence in my fund. So you use our money when you know it's tanking, then blow 200000 on a car? It's going to turn around. I promise. And the car is just a little window dressing. It shows people that we're doing well. It's about presentation. It's about image. I thought it was about romantic getaways. That's not how I meant that. Well, how nice that we're all just props for your photo shoot. To think Before that you... I was comforted by the stupidly optimistic notion that you were doing it out the of The last thing I wanted to do was to go to Scylla for money, but that is the only reason I went to her. You have to believe that. I don't know what to believe anymore. Hey. Well, I did some digging around. Word is that Davis's fund has taken some big hits on mortgage-backed securities. Investors are gonna get screwed. He really knows how to spread it around, doesn't he? What are you gonna do? I don't know, I go back and forth. Davis and I have a lot invested in this marriage. The truth is he lied. Maybe not about the thing you thought he was lying about, but he still lied. You know, I'd be shocked in his own messed up way. He was trying to protect me. Well, just like he was trying to protect you from finding out about the affairs? It's also black and white for you. I, I, I really envy that. I'm not saying it's easy, I'm just, you need to do what's right for you. I need to do what's right for my marriage. Okay, terrific. A few more, that's great. The stuff we got upstairs looks great, but man, this light is perfect. Okay, let's get you guys in the car. Take your time. We need to reset and reload. 
I love it. They even have props. Well, if we were going on one of our romantic getaways, we'd have bags, right? I mean, it is all about it, bitch. Okay, I had that coming. You've been a good sport, and I want you to know how much I appreciate it. Tell me, Davis, six months from now, assuming the hedge fund turned around, would you have told me about Silva? Hey, can you guys go up and wrap the apartment? Honey, that's it. How can I answer that? With the truth? I wanted to protect you. I always will. Want to drive? I think you should. In fact, I think I'm going to sit this one out. What do you mean? I'm just tired from all the posing we've been doing. Well, just sit. We can take a few. Of course, we've been posing for years, and it never bothered me. Will you please just get in the car? Davis, the bags behind you aren't props. I filled them with your clothes this afternoon. What? Why? To take with you to the hotel where you'll be staying once you drive away from here. Oh, come on. I said I would do this for you, and I did. I'm a woman of my word. But that's it. We're done. Now, if you want to avoid an embarrassing situation, and God knows I don't need any more humiliation in my life, you should just drive away. How can you do this to me? How can I do this to you? To you? You lied to me. You betrayed me. You jeopardized the security of our family. And you broke my heart. First in little ways, and then in big ones. Now, some of those I can get past, but I can't trust you, Davis. And I never will again. Not because I don't want to, and not because I'm incapable of it, but because you don't deserve it.